going on there folks good afternoon uh the earth master back here on this thursday august 10th 2023 about 507 p.m here california time uh getting a report of a deep earthquake here around the new zealand area this is coming off of a 5.3 earthquake uh not for sure if anyone felt this earthquake but if you did let us know here in the chat room uh geonet servers reporting this uh right there in the cook strait area of a 5.5 now here is the digifella reports this looks like a legit earthquake obviously felt uh, over the north island and south island region there of new zealand some folks reported that as extreme shaking but for the most part looks like light to weak shading shaking reported from this earthquake that struck at about 170 kilometers deep uh, for a 5.5 now, I don't think the USGS is picking up on this yet. Uh, let's see if it did pick up on the uh, New Zealand. Uh, there we go. Actually did pick up on the New Zealand seismograph station here uh, pretty nicely. And um, let's see here exactly. Let me go back here to the GeoNet servers. I kind of want to see what this looks like on the earthquake drums. There it is. Obviously uh, a legit earthquake, pretty strong earthquake. And at the same time, pretty deep here. The location of that earthquake um, definitely makes me think that it's uh, associated with potentially the Hikarangi subduction zone. Let me double check here and see where this is at. Uh, it's going to be this earthquake. Well, that's they call it a light shaking light. That's all subjective, though, where you're at uh, around the epicenter. But yeah, with the uh, location of this earthquake... Hikirangi subduction zone sits right offshore right here and far inland it looks like that earthquake occurred right around here <clears throat> could be associated with that subduction zone that sits right off the North Island area right about here it looks like as well so watching that uh, that's definitely another subduction zone here that's um, somewhat overdue I believe for a large damaging earthquake well above a five pointer or a seven pointer uh, so we'll keep an eye on that for sure let us know though if you felt it um, so here they're reporting 5.6 and I'm sure there's going to be some aftershock uh, activity from this earthquake potentially uh, just a heads up on that yeah usgs not even picking up on it so anyway um we'll just go with what the emsc is stating for right now uh in the geonet servers between a 5.4 and a uh, 5.6 magnitude earthquake either way it's pretty deep in a zone that uh you know is building up some strain we have been watching new zealand here for quite a while uh in terms of it um needing and obviously uh, there's enough strain out here in certain fault systems and plate boundaries that uh, are long overdue for a, a large earthquake out there across new zealand so just be prepared have an earthquake plan <clears throat> not for sure what the time is over there in new zealand currently uh but um i'm guessing it's still nighttime i'm not for sure exactly it's a ways over here it's five o'clock west coast time here California so maybe uh, maybe some early morning time out there either way stay safe out there we do have we do have one seismograph station there across the New Zealand area that's going to be that uh, station right here that picked up that earthquake stay safe we'll cover this and more a little bit later on this evening folks I uh, got some stuff I gotta do right now but Things are pretty active here across the region, considering California as well, with that movement earlier just near the Parkfield region of uh, California. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight with a complete update. Stay safe.